Hello and welcome back to my channel. So, looking back at day four of the Menai Straits of Gata, we also had another good day. A bit unlucky at times, but that's just how it goes. So, the racing was run by Royal Mersey Yacht Club, which is the club that we were kind of coming from. And it was really good, it was the same as the day before, just the racing in Bo Morris, just between the marks they have laid out. So on the crew today was back to the kind of same people from the Puffin Island race. So we had Papa on the helm again, Katie my cousin on the main and then both me and dad on the bow doing the kite and the jib. So the wind, wind and the weather for the day was kind of 12 knots, 12 to 15 knots from the south coming up the strait and the weather was hopefully blue skies no rain but later on it did cloud over a bit with a tiny bit more wind coming with it so with the start we were kind of just waiting around near the line but we needed to make sure we were a bit further away from it just because the tide was coming in so it was trying to push us over and just needed to stay out of the way of the other races that were starting at that point so in the end with our start we somewhat miscalculated it and were a bit late to the start which was a bit annoying but that's what happens and it ended up meaning we were behind everyone at the start and up that first beat so we just needed to try and work our way back try and get past some of the people that there once we were in a bit of wind we did manage to get the boat going a lot better we got into a lane got a bit of clear air and that was good and we did manage to start making up a bit of space on the others we did manage to take, overtake one or two of the boats that are a bit slower so that was really good The top mark we managed to get up a lot closer to the front runners when we went round we were kind of thirds and not far behind the leaders so really happy with that considering how far we were behind at the start and once we got the kite up we started to make even more ground on them once we got the kite up we started to make even more ground just because there were other boats around there were limbos which were just helping to cover the other boats and slowing them down a bit so that was really good.
once we got round the gallows point, we decided to go inside some of the moorings just to try and get out of the tide, which really worked in the end. So it meant we could get out of the tide, whereas the other boats were stuck out in it. We got a bit of wind going down there, so that was really good. Way through the kind of bay, uh, the wind decided to drop off, so that meant that the boats in the tide slowed down even more, whereas it was us that were out of the tide managed to catch them up so that was really good good tactical decision just to try and get out of the tide so we managed to make up a place there and we were right next to the leader at that point As we were going past the green, we were kind of just in that juggle with the other boat, trying to get in front of them. They were just in front. We just kept sailing along, trying to cover them a bit, but they stayed ahead for most of it. Once we got round to past the hill, they decided to go a bit lower and ended up going a bit more towards the bank, whereas we stayed out a bit more in the tide and it meant that the wind decided to come round a bit more towards a reach, more from the west, which meant that we all had to drop our kites. But luckily, being a bit higher up meant we could hold our kite for that tiny bit longer, and meant we almost pulled alongside the other boat. So that was really good. Further up, we had an incident with the lead boat where we had just brought our kite down and they, coming from below, decided to head up quite violently above close hall course and started shouting protest and calling us up for a windward boat trying to keep clear. Which, looking back at the footage, looking at their sails, they definitely went above close hall and also with the windward boat keep clear rule, they also needed to give us a bit of time. And considering these boats are rather slow and have quite low manoeuvrability we didn't think they give it either, gave us enough time to get out of the way so that was a bit annoying and they did that try to get us out of the way so with this incident happening we decided that the best thing to do is just to try and do our turns do our 720 and then get on with the rest of the race so we did our turn ended up losing lots of um, ground to the boat in front and then also we did lose another place, which was a bit annoying, but that's what happens when you do your turns. So going upwind, the boat that had infringed us managed to go off, get a bit of speed, get away from us, and went on to win the race. Uh, and then we managed to get past the boat that had overtaken us when we were doing our turns. So we didn't lose too much in the end, but we were still a bit annoyed with the other boat. So looking back at the day, we were happy with how we'd done, kind of a bit annoyed with the incident that happened, but that's what happened, we just kind of had to get on with it. And we were happy with the way we managed to get back into the race and get back to that second, which is really good in the end. So looking back at the whole week, really happy with how we'd done in all the races, sometimes we've just lost out in just areas or tried to take it a bit too far and lost out but in others we just tried to keep cool just sailed the boat how we knew to sail it just keeping the boat up with lots of speed and that managed to help us win and get some good results in the end so looking back at the whole week we ended up not having any more racing just as it was too windy so we managed to go home a day early 
and it was just a really good time to be able to sail with family just in a different environment like we always have the other years so it was good to be sailing a different boat just a bit slower than all the other boats I've usually been sailing so a lot more tactical trying to work out where to get the boat especially in the location that we were in and it was really nice to sail with family even in the bad times that there were but also the good times it all put together it was really good in the end so that is probably the last time i'll be sailing on that boat because the boat's being sold on just because we can't keep up with the maintenance my grandfather can't keep up with it so it's rather sad being the last time that we were sailing it but that's the way things go in life but it's been in the family kind of for over 80 years so it's been quite a big part of the family and it's been to the Straits almost every year missing two for over 60 years which is quite an achievement so that's quite a good 